Hi, good morning, Ruby. Great. Thank you so, so much. Good morning, Sophie. everyone. And how are you? You're good. How are you? Good, good. I think you girls just deserve a great round of applause um, for yourself. Um, I've been with you like this morning and in hearing all these speeches coming from other females um, working in different industry is quite inspiring for myself. <laughs> I just like to give you a short introduction, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, uh, Silver is a project manager at Howard County DPW. She is an engineer by training, but uniquely applied her learnings to environmental engineering roles till today, working for the government to manage environmental engineering projects. Please welcome Silver with a round of applause. Okay. So um, good morning, everyone. I didn't really um, prepare any slides. And then um, I will go ahead just to start uh, with a journey, um, how I get here. So I, um, I started um, in China all the way to college. And then I graduated one of the good um, college in China for environment engineering major for my under. And I came here to study in Hopkins for my master. Afterwards, I decided to stay and then um, got a consulting company that want to hire me as an entry level engineer. Worked there for a couple of years and then, then um, I started to be a consultant embedded and part of the government to be the, to be the consultant working on site. Um, and then starting 2015, I became a project manager helping the utility design division under the department of, of DPW, uh, Department of Public Works and in their engineering department. So I've been project manager for about 10 years right now. Um, and um, I feel really excited about uh, my job because you do feel that you're contributing to your local community. You were able to apply what you learned at school um, and your engineering uh, degree to something that it, you can put into reality. And the, the feeling of serving for your local community, it's just great. Um, and uh, sometimes I have an 80 year old daughter. When I um, drive around, I take her to see one of my job sites, sometimes taking her to see our pumping station and always bring her to work on her, um, bring your kids to work day to show her what we did there um, and making her feel pretty proud of what a female engineer can do. So that's why I, um, when my friend Evit invited me to this event, I was like more than happy to join you um, for this morning. Um, and I think that's all I want to share about myself. Um, Ruby, do you want to, I guess, have some questions for me um, and I can answer them one after the other. Uh, absolutely. Um, Saloni is the one um, who will be asking questions right now. So. Um, hi, I'm Saloni. Uh, I just uh, had a few questions. Um, is your current field uh, male dominated? And if so, what challenges have you faced to assert yourself? My current field is a um, man-dominated uh, industry. So first off, for construction, you can see, I always went into a conference room filming myself the only one, and then seeing myself as the only one like female sitting on the conference room. But you know what? That also makes you stand out. And then, and then you can easily be um, remembered and then you naturally get attention. That's actually great as a project manager. So I speak, I'm trying to um, make every of my project go as smooth as possible by managing the scope on the timeline and the cost. So as a female engineer, um, I think the leadership skills, you almost got it, um, I mean, there is no, no, um, I would say a, a pressure. Um, and then when you first go into this field and you might be challenged 
um, only because they think that you cannot do the work yourself. Um, but you can prove that is wrong and you could know better as a design engineer, you coming from the bottom um, all the way as the project manager wrote. Um, I'm not just sitting in the office only knowing the design on paper. I always go to attend side meetings and spend time with the field crew to talk to them and then knowing, under, really knowing and understanding the problem they're faced with on their daily life. And then they would show me how to do a, a repair clamp. They would show me how to pull the concrete. And you do understand the difficulties they were going through. And when you were putting schedule together, you make it more to the truth because you know what's going on and you consider the factor in with um, different environmental factors. And um, that was also pretty critical. And as a female, I think you were naturally talented with connecting to people and um, you are not working alone. You are very good at working in a team environment. That also, that, that all um, contributes to your success of the career. Thank you so much, Sober. Uh, my next question would be, uh, what advice would you give to girls who want to uh, pursue their passion but don't know how to? Okay, so um, I have a story I want to share. So I had been mentoring in the Women in Engineering event for the public school. My coworker got me there as we both are project managers working for uh, Howard County. And uh, um, the event is well attended. It usually have around like 300 um, female students from the local high schools. And then it's an engineering um, forum. And then they invite people from um, the industry of engineering, science. Um, and then we go through some small science projects together. It's very hands-on. And then at the beginning of that event, there is always a um, icebreaker event. Um, it's the kind of the career mentor mentee talk. And then, then we we are having some networking time with the girls coming from high school. And there was one girl I saw and then she looked at me a couple of times. And then I, I, I could feel that she has a passion that she wants to talk. But I literally didn't kind of walk to her. I was waiting for her to kind of walk to me. And the first question she asked is, how do you feel become like a female engineer? Because she has the passion and then she wants to go into this field. And then I think her family was discouraging her from going, doing so. And then after further talk, I realized she was saying that you, her mother told her that she wouldn't be able to, she wouldn't be able to, um, uh, do well in the industry because she wasn't going to get any family support. Nobody of her family kind of encouraged her to study engineering. Um, they would want her to go to a community college and get married. And then as a female, they think it's uh, more important to, to, to get a family um, before you pursue your career. So I was um, almost shocked by hearing that it's the modern times and then there are still girls um, getting so influenced by their family member. Um, and then when we went to the hands-on um, experiment and we went to the hands-on activity on building our, 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 our car with just rubber band and then sticks and pre-made pre, um, parts. And then she become very excited. I could see that she do have a passion for that. She wasn't just like following the manual. She also adds on uh, quite a few design come out of her own mind and able to make a model above and beyond and try we at the end of their hands-on activity, 
their race cars were all putting together at the start, and then they have to go past the finish line. And her car, the model that she made and she invented, is traveling the fastest of all. So I talked to her after um, that hands-on activity and has a kind of personal um, talk with her. Um, and I'm telling her that I think you do have talent and you should pursue it. Um, you are, you will be doing very good if you go to engineering school, especially by, at the high school time, it's critical when you are about to put your college applications. And you probably, I tell her, you need to talk to the counselors at your school for your career choice. Um, and then, then, I mean, now even my eight year girl, if I tell her this dress doesn't look good on you, pick another one, she'll come back and telling me, no mom, I think I'm confident. I will look good in this dress. And then just try not to be influenced. If you really find the passion, follow your heart. Um, so I think that's what's the story I want to share. Hi, Ruby. Um, oh, sorry. Um, you can continue on. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, um, I think I'm done with the, the question. Okay. Thank you so much, Silver, for sharing your experience. It was really nice listening to you and hearing about your advice. Um, that is something I personally will keep in mind as I am going to be going to college. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, you're very welcome. Nice meeting you all. Thank you. Um, 